That moves him up into second place. 7.95, we'll look now at Thomas van der Pleitsen, normally a decathlete, but this is one of his stronger events. Blightson, European decathlon champion, a real talent at the multi events. And the Blightson, 766. Tobias Montelier. Well, the Swede, 794. Oh, no improvement for him. So he stays in third place as it stands at the moment. Don't think he needs to worry about making the last four, though. There's quite a big gap between fourth place, Nikita Lapatsenko with 784, to Thomas van der Pleitsen in 7066. Truthfully, there's not the men who are going to bridge that distance. So Montlier, Toglu, but nevertheless, still a very useful jumper. So Belarus is Mikita Lapanka. Gone over eight meters for the first time in his career this year with 8.01. I saw the result for, Mon for Montelier, but I can tell you it's 7.94. That's a good jump from Lapasenka. Pronunciation right this time. We saw 7.70 in the first round. He's just improved now to 7.84, and that takes him up into third place. 1,000 metre steeplechase. Now, Militiados Tentoglu. Recently jumped 8 metres 66 in Patra. Oh, that's a superb jump. That's well over 8 metres, without a doubt. No doubt at all about it. He really is an utterly magnificent long jumper and very, very rarely disappoints. He's taken the European title, European indoor title, has won crowns in age group levels. On a continental stage, he is such a outstanding jumper. 8.27. He's so consistent over eight metres as well. So this is Radek Juska. Rangy jumper as well. Well, that's a good jump as well. It's not that far from eight meters. Probably more likely around the 775 mark. Not that far away, 774. He's going to take something very special to 41. Tobias Montelier. This competition indeed brings together the three medalists from the Turun 2021 European Indoor Championships. Oh, good jump from Montelier. That is close to eight meters, just looking at that on the replay. Got a slightly skewed camera angle. Montlier, very consistent jumper at around the eight meter mark. Not quite in the same league as 10 meters. Frank Futsar and Michael Sommers back to the long jump. 
This is Inga Kiplasund of Norway. Mm, just shy of eight metres. But a good jump from the Norwegian. Norway a little bit adrift at the moment of getting in contention for those top two spots which will take them up to the Super League. Currently occupied by the Netherlands and Switzerland. Go up. Now, Radic Juska. Quick on the runner, bags of height for the Czech. Good takeoff. I think that's close to eight meters. We're at a slight angle to the long jump pit. It's not always obvious. There's a slight distortion, but that's good jumping for Juska to. The long jump, well, Tentoglu after that huge jump in the first round, fouled his next attempt. Oof, another big jump from Tentoglu. That again is well over eight meters and he gets the white flag. Just gets such fantastic height. Did that 860 in Athens and has followed it up with jumps of 827. And won the national championships a couple of weeks ago with 848. What can he do? That's even further. That's a championship record. 838. That improves the record of Russia's Alexander Menkov from eight years ago by two centimeters. 8.38. Huska, very fine jumper in his own right, but not quite of the same calibre as Militaris Tentoglu. Huska, good series, started with 7.74, 7.95, 7 Personal best of 8.31 from 2017. No, well, maybe that is a slight improvement, but it isn't going to change anything as far as the first place is concerned. Exaggerated chopping before the board. Eight centimeters or so to spare. Seven eighty five, so no improvement for Juska. But nevertheless, eleven points going to the Czech Republic. That'll be quite useful. That gets them back into the mix as far as promotions concerned. So no doubt at all about the winner. And if he's not stripped off, I have a feeling that uh, he's decided not to take any further part in the competition and just sit on his laurels, you might say. Well, after that, 8.38. No, he indeed, I can tell you, just getting information that he is passing. That, <laughs> well, no change in the final, and that isn't correct either, I have to say, because he jumped 8.38 in the last round. Champion just one centimeters between himself and Radek Huska. Check in second place at the moment with 7.95. Montley is 7.94 coming in the first round, followed by two fouls.
So Blue, backing along. I think that's a foul. Let's just double check. It's very close. Red flag indeed. So no change for Tavares Montelier. Mind you, I have to say, as soon as Tentoglu got that jump in the first round of 8.24, I thought the composition was over at that point anyway. He's gone on to a championship record of 8.38. So, top two places are decided. It's going to be a bit of a tall order for Radek Huska to dethrone Militardis Entoglu. Now from one Belarusian to another. This is Mapatsenka in the long jump. Lying in fourth place at the moment. Has jumped 8.01 this year. Did that recently in Brest at the Belarusian Team Cup. That was a bit of an outlier. Quite a considerable improvement, but shows it's no no fluke with a 784 here. He's having a good competition, the Belarusian. Needs to improve by 10 centimeters in this competition to overtake Tobias Montlier, at least temporarily. Montlier, the Swede, lying in third place. It's quick on the runner. That's just a shade short of eight meters. Now it's just a question of how far. Just a few centimeters to spare on the board, not a lot. Been to a few events in the past, like the back to back European under 20s, when <laughs> he didn't qualify and then. Didn't get a jump in the final. So 764. No improvement though for Lapatsenka. Montelier now.